Good morning, everyone. Here we are. Pierre's coming to us live from San Francisco today. And um, we've got Musi Yeni. This is Series 3, Episode 1, Glycian Unfiltered. And contrary to claims out there, I know, Striker, I know that 53,000 people watched our last video. <laughs> Yet... Yes. Everybody else is still saying they got the most views, but we don't care about views. Muzi Yeni, I'm not going to tell everybody that it's taken us 40 minutes to get you on the Zoom. <laughs> but welcome, and I'm so looking forward to having this chat because I've known Muzi for a long time, and we don't talk a lot, but I think every time we've spoken, we've had a meaningful conversation. So thank you for doing this with us. No, thanks. Thanks for having me on the show, guys. Um, should we start in the beginning? Striker, what's he like to ride against? You muted, but no, Lizzie, you will um, you will, you won't give you an inch. So uh, That's when, good. He's drawn, when he's drawn next to you, you know you've got to be awake. <laughs> <laughs> the nice thing about Lizzie is that. I think as a punter or as a trainer is that he's not scared to take the initiative and say, I'm getting out the stalls, I'm placing my horse, not looking to sit at the back and uh, holding up a horse and whatever, you know. Some horses need that, but Muzi, he's got that knack of getting them out, to, out the gates, into the race and in a winning position from a, from, from a start. So I think from a punter's point of view and a trainer's point of view, he must be a great jockey to, to follow. So you would use him as an owner? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I think so. Strike has got his own horses, but thanks for the compliment, Strikes. But but also you've been running great races, eh? You know, not just like um, placing them, but you, you, you're getting them to just roll top of a straight. If they if you're also traveling well, you're not holding them back, uh, sitting and waiting. They start rolling, you know, and you and you and you're nursing him through to the end. You uh, you're making uh, all the right calls at the moment. That's a yeah, really good compliment, eh, Musi? From yeah, you know, it's uh, uh, I am lucky. Like uh, instead of this, new, like I'm saying, with the new generation, when I started riding, um, I when I started riding, when I went into the academy, I was 16, um, turning 38. So striker, striker, Washong, Anton, Daupesh, like which I obviously I the they told the line for me, so I was able to watch a lot of them, and uh, they were great guys. So I was able to. It's taken me a long time to get where I am, obviously with a lot of hard work. But I was lucky I had the right grounding. When I say grounding, I could watch them all the time, race, and I learned a lot. And I think that's why it's able to me to be in the top top five jockeys every year. I've been unlucky twice. I've been, I think, not unlucky. I've been second a few times to obviously Richard who broke the national record. Lau who's, uh, um, who's had a couple of stints in Hong Kong. So what I'm trying to say is like I had the right grounding. I had the right guys around me when I was learning to, to be professional, you know? Yeah, 100%. And listen, I mean, you've held your own. Eh? I mean, you have held your own. So from an owner's perspective, from a fan of racing's perspective, um, you, you're certainly one of South Africa's greatest um, jockeys, eh? and and it must give you it must give you tremendous pleasure. I mean, we don't want to overdo this too much, but it must give you tremendous pleasure where you come from and your heritage and your culture to be so successful. I feel I feel like. Um, I I know some like I'm saying yes I'm approaching two thousand five hundred winners in my career and um, just being in mind Pia was riding before I was born so no, I'm approaching. He's also, ridden, he's also <laughs> ridden three thousand more than you. Yeah. So you know, no, I don't know how much he keeps going. I mean, he just gets on the horse. Eight eight uh, nine rides a meeting tomorrow. Same thing. And he just keeps going. I don't know where he gets the energy from. It's, it's that's he's, he's got it there next to him. Look, show us. Gotta be strong. Energy. Show us that can. Of... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, this, this was last night. It's one of the few times where I'm actually lucky. I don't have a race meeting the next day, so I decided no. to go out. Do you think this? I went. So, so let's just go back to that. 
um, do you feel do you feel that you've broken barriers? No, I actually don't feel like I achieve. I, I don't actually don't feel like I uh, have, unlike uh, some people, I think, like, I think Pierre was like born to ride a horse. I feel Washong, like those guys, to me, when I used to watch them ride, it looked like it came na almost naturally. I know they probably worked, they worked hard, hard at it, but I feel like I have to mold my talent to, to, to be successful. You know, I feel like to them, when I watch them ride, it comes almost almost instinct and naturally. I feel like I've always had to just work so hard, watch more than any other other people, you know. Uh, obviously in my generation, I don't know, the jockey club could be wrong, but they saying I have more winners than Kumalus Manga on the database and Richard. So, so you so you you more like Cristiano Ronaldo as opposed to Diego Maradona. <laughs> You no, I mean, like I'm serious. So you it's all about yeah. work, dedication. You don't. Yes. It didn't come to you naturally, but it doesn't really matter, right? Because you. Yeah, but it just feels, you know, it just so. The one I'm saying to I haven't achieved. There's a lot of. Uh, I've had a lot of success, obviously, with the feature Absolutely. races in the High Felt and Durban, but I haven't actually won the races I want to win in Cape Town. I haven't won the July yet, so it's been a bit frustrating. That's why I'm. I'm I would literally. That's why I'm putting in the work to ground the work at least to try and secure a title. If it's not this year, it's next year, but at least something to show for it, you know? Well, listen to me. Your title, Chase, is in, is in a little bit of danger because somebody rode a treble on Saturday. Who's that? Uh, Mr. Oh, so you strike. Always striker going to treble and jump on the plane. Striker I don't like. He's comfortable now. <laughs> He rides when he's in his sleep, I know, but he's he rides when he's in his sleep. I think he's frozen, he's disappeared. Muzi, um, tell yeah. us a little bit, tell us a little bit about um about Stone Stamp Corp, your sponsor. Piers disappeared. We'll talk, you'll come back. Tell us a little bit about why it's important to have a sponsor and what this sponsor does for you. So I, I've got a personally, I, I like sponsors. I think mentioning their name in every interview is really good, right? But only racing people watch that. Our podcast, thousands of people are going to watch it. Tell us about Stone Stamp Corps and why it's so important to have them as a sponsor. Uh, Stone Stamp Corps, um, I, I was in trouble, remember, last year when I lost out on your ride on Billy Bowlegs? Um, uh, this is when you, when you delved out of horse racing into the boxing world. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, um, obviously it's also part of my podcast. I'm here today, so obviously that's another. It's a story that I'm not never shy to hide for, hide from it. Uh, Listen, obviously it was um, well. It's it's always amazing, like in life, how everyone seems to know more than you that you were there. You know what I mean in a current kind of situation. What a lot so, of people, what a lot of people in South African racing don't know. Is that I've yeah. known for a long time, <laughs> but I think we had a very, very profound conversation about a year ago. Yeah, you had a conversation. You went, like I said to you, you don't know the part when I walked in and I only weighed to, uh, 28, uh, 26 kilos. You don't know the part where I was dragged and pulled off the horse at Gravel. That part you don't know, and oh, that's the right. Bullying, the, when the bullying, when the bullying, when you, you when you come from the township and you walk into another industry and you are smaller, you're making waves in the industry and you're getting dragged around like a rag doll because of your tiny size. And then when you become, when you stand up for yourself, then you, you know what I mean. Then you start, and then you gotta hear how you should address the situation. So it's yeah. a, it's a very. But anyway, we wiser we. Um, we're wiser, right? Obviously, there's after hindsight, like I'm saying to you, it's easier now to say, Hey, you could manage it like this, like this. Absolutely. Yeah. So, tell me, tell, so tell us about Stone Stamp Corp. So, St Stone Stamp Corp, I got it like Nigel Riley. He's uh, he does uh, work for Stone Stamp Corp. And uh, obviously, um, you realize that I was I didn't have a big sponsorship, and obviously. The criteria, I'm out, I'm traveling, I, I'm always active, I'm always uh, riding. So he offered it to William, William Ackerman and uh, his company was also looking for 
I think it's just also diversity and try and look at sponsoring the almost under not I'm not underprivileged, but not by the some, not if I look at that jacket. <laughs> but I don't know how to how, how to read. Oh, I know what into, you're saying. I know what yeah, you're saying. So for the company rate, I think they were looking through, and anyway, it worked out for me. I think uh, horse racing, like a lot of sponsorship do soccer's and all those stuff because they're well publicized. Racing, like you said, it doesn't get the right uh, publicity, so it's hard to get decent sponsors in. Very so hard. I'm privileged to have them. Yeah, very hard. Um, Striker, you keep coming and going. Um, have you got a question for Musi there? You muted, Pierre. Struggling striker today. He rides three winners and he's gone tilt. <laughs> Maybe, um, uh, who, who, which jocks were in your year? Um, so I had um, Gavin. I had uh, Gavin. Apologies. Can you hear me? Strikes? Okay. No, I can hear you. Can hear you, yeah. Yes. Yes, I'm, I'm saying to I had, uh, Gavin, Richard Furee. Raymond Danielson, and then um, Strong the, Club, uh, uh, Keenan and Stain. That's a good school, eh? That's a good year. Yeah, yeah, yeah good club. year. Yeah, that's a good year. Okay, music. Yeah, so we're good. talking about your sponsor. Yeah, um, we know that your goals are to win the championship. Yeah, um, tell the viewers one of my goals. One of my goals. One of your goals. Yeah, <laughs> win the championship. Get a better left hook. Win the July. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you won't let that lie down, eh? <laughs> no, it's a long, having a laugh. Listen to me. Um, tell us about your family because there's no way. I know in Pierre, I know I, I deal with a lot of sportsmen in golf and rugby. I'm very privileged. Tell us, tell us why you do all of this because it's not it's not for you, it's not for your goals, right? What what is behind Muzi Yeni? Um, behind your drive. And beyond your success, but also what what do you switch off to? You switch off from the racing, and what do you go home to? Oh, so I've got a family. <laughs> got uh, got a family. Um, what do you call this? I got a stepdaughter Amo. She's in matric. My yeah. first daughter is fourteen, <laughs> and then I've got a little one who is four years old. Fantastic, and and they yeah. obviously your biggest fans. <laughs> Yeah, they're not much into the racing. Obviously, they do watch. Uh, they do. They, they do watch, but they're not really um, much into the racing. But they they do support me because it puts food on the table. I'm able to put them in the best schools. They live in a secure estate. Uh, they, you know what I mean, for for a life in South Africa. That's I provide true. probably the best for them. You know what I mean. Fantastic. Striker, ask him a racing related question. <laughs> Yeah, Miss I want you know so like doing your rides, uh, you got an agent. Um yes. does he does he do everything for you or do you have some of your own input? Um or do you only work at certain centers? Um yes, I only work certain centers. So in Joburg I will assist unless I'm obviously stuck in a plane and I can't like or I'm traveling or I can't then he cracks on. But uh, normally when it comes to features, that's when I really get involved. Cause uh I don't oh, want to go into a few jam ride the wrong horse. There I get really involved. <laughs> and yeah, that's good. But does he only do your rides? Does he book your travel? I mean, I think that's what Pete's asking. No, no, no. Uh, my partner books my 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 flights and my accommodations and four sorts and does my taxes and stuff. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, so so obviously when I rode in my in my days, winning championships and stuff, uh I did all my Local Johannesburg did my rides here myself because yeah. obviously my knowledge here of, of the horses were better than anyone else. Yeah. But, but then in, in Durban, Cape Town, and PE, for instance, my agent would you would just take care of that because you can't go to races, right? Yeah. And the entries come out for for Gravel or for Kenilworth, and I mean, you're sitting in a jockey room, so you needed someone to actually do that while you're still riding. And uh, yeah. so Grant Harrison was uh, he was quite good for me in those days. Probably the yeah. best agent ever to come into South, uh, out of South Africa. Grant, I'll bore you to death, Harrison. Harrison. <laughs> <laughs> I will not take no for an answer. Yeah, Grant. 
<laughs> Why take that phone on Saracen? <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I, I got think Grant, Grant used to irritate the trainers so much. Eventually, they would just give him the ride. They're like, no, just let <laughs> him can ride it. <laughs> my son, my son Jesse calls him annoying Grant. <laughs> literally, because yeah. he, he can lit. I've had him on the phone. I swear to you. I know we're digressing from the music podcast, but Grant Harrison, if you are watching or any of your mates, here's a little secret. I've had a conversation with Grant here yeah, where I've put the phone down for 19 minutes <laughs> and he's carried on talking <laughs> and I haven't said a word. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, he was very good. I mean, he, he knew his stuff. Um, I ended up writing yeah. in the UK in 1999 and... Um, he was already based in the UK, and I went over there for for a month. Um, so between the two of us, we travelled the country, and I ended up with eight winners, which is uh, uh, not bad considering it's only there one month. Um, yeah, but it, it was it was a memory for me. Sure. Are you considering going overseas, Muzi? Yeah, that's why I'm keeping my resume just to answer his question, Joe's question that. Uh... Um, why do you creep it up? Well, your CV won't look attractive if you're in the bottom of the table, if you decide to stay in Joburg. You know how one province can also be, can hit a slump and ups and downs to keep, to keep a good resume. And while I still got the strength, I'm in my mid-30s, so why Late must 30. I? Hold on a second. Late, Hold late on a second. 30s. Let's just do the maths properly. You said you're 38. Yes, thirty seven. Thirty seven. I'm thirty seven. Yeah, that's going that's going late thirties. Really. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Let's not be drunk. But you would, eh? You'd pack the kids up, pack your wife up or partner, and you'd go yeah. ride in uh America. Yeah, I would uh, that's why the resume has to be good. And I feel like actually the better seasons I'm having, the more challenges I'm having getting I'll say something to you, not I don't not to blow strikers horn, but uh I'm saying to you, a lot of the kids actually don't realize how lucky they are to still have him riding. You know what I mean? To be able to have put your TV on and be able to watch him ride. Just a reminder that not every horse has to be cutting off. Not every horse has to that you have to though you're going well, you have to let it go at the top of the lane. There's right. a lot of things. So also, man, I'm, I'm a work in progress, a lot to learn, and just enjoying, you know what I mean, enjoying having him around there in the jockey room, though he, he's not the most pleasant to ride around sometimes, but yeah. <laughs> Listen, have you ever taken a ride from him? Like, if he was engaged to no, ride? You can't steal rides from a striker. Oh, <laughs> that's what I heard. He's got his people. I heard, he's got I heard there was one stolen this morning. <laughs> is it a good ride? Did I steal your ride? Never. It wasn't. You never no. stole the ride. Yeah, there's always been his ride. I don't know. You know no, no, yeah, no, but there's a, I mean, I love them, the Azzy family, but they they can chop and change jockeys more times than I can yeah. have jockeys. That I promise you. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, we're referring to Breeze Over. So, oh, did you get the ride and Breeze Over? Oh, you got apparently it. Apparently, my agency said I've got the ride and Breeze Over, and I looked at the field and I said, but there's no other horse you're gonna ride. There's like you're gonna ride it, you know. So when I yeah. when I got told you're riding it, I was like not surprised for one minute. <laughs> that you you riding those? I didn't check. I haven't checked the script. No, no, That's you're you're riding. Oh, you're riding it. Oh, okay. The only reason why probably if it was up to Adam, you are riding it, but because of the owner Steve Lee, uh, uh, so... I think I'm I'm riding those. Uh... <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, you must remember. I, mean, I think you, it's... you must remember. You Sorry. striker. Uh, you must remember, you saw the first race how Kevin turned the form around on that other horse. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't know how that happened. We're talking about Saturday. Um, lead the charge and uh, what's the name of the horse of Tony Peters? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we we like surprised. I mean, remember, we as jockeys, we ride yeah. these horses, we study the form, we look at the form, we, we look at the draws, and, we, and then obviously we feel we should beat this horse because it finished behind. And the next time, like for instance on Saturday, um Gavin's horse taxi to the moon. Beat music yes. beat music horse. Now you're trying to work out why. Have you done as a jockey, have you done something wrong? Yeah. Or has uh, the the horse maybe stumble or doesn't like the going or did the other horse improve? 
we got to try and work out all those factors because people think like the game is so crooked. Like, gee, yeah. the, you know, lead the charge, beat it last time. So I, I was trying seven to tell you. It was seven links turnaround in terms yeah. of. <laughs> yeah, but remember the weight turnaround and the thousand meters. So, so, yeah, so, okay, you going... see, you know, so we try and work out well, why did yeah. we not win on the horse that should have won, you know, or, or that or had the form to win. Let's put it that way. So people oh. think we are there. Always uh, just get on a horse, ride, and get off, and it's and it's overs. No, we mm-hmm. we 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 we're working for excellence. We we want to know why didn't we uh, produce the best horse, uh, the best form that was had before. So you know. yeah, listen. I'm, the more I've gotten involved in racing, um, I've been in it for forty-seven years. You know, the more I've gotten involved in racing the more I learn, the more questions I have, and the less I think that it's corrupt. Like, have I ever thought a jockey's given a horse a bad ride? Absolutely. Have I ever said it out loud? Absolutely. But the reality is, yeah, the reality is, as an owner now, I know. Like, a horse missed a bit of work. It didn't, do you know what I mean? Like, there's so many other factors that that we don't know about. Striker, what time is it in San Francisco? Just by the way, for the well, they were about eight hours behind, eh? I don't know, they. <laughs> Down you. That's <laughs> okay. Right, Muzi, I'm going to do something a bit different here. I'm going to ask you six quick fire questions. Right, we've never done this before. I want to see how it goes down, okay? Okay. They random. Would you rather go to jail for a murder you never committed or kill someone and never get caught? The first one. Right. If you became Earth's official tour guide for aliens, where would you take them? Where would I take them? For... Where's, well, your place? Like... where's your no, special okay. place? Like, somebody's just arrived on Earth, where would you take them? Obviously, I'd love to take them somewhere I actually have been. Yeah. So, uh, oh, probably take them to a Kruger or something. Okay, have you been? Do you like it there? Yeah, probably yeah. take it. Yeah. Right. Okay, this is for both of you, Striker, because I don't want you to feel left out. We'll let you go first, Pierre. What's something you could do five years ago that you can't do today? Yeah. Uh, ride nine horses on them. The... <laughs> <laughs> Muzi? Uh, well, I can't because, uh, well, uh, what could I do? I can't go back to my ex, probably. Ooh. <laughs> Good one. Good one. <laughs> right, here we go. <laughs> this one's a bit tricky because for in Pierre Stratum's case, this applies for a long time. In your case and my case, it doesn't. Mm-hmm. But let's try. If you could be born in another era in history, which would you choose? Another era in history. I'll probably be a born with Pia and them. Oh, China. Hey, I just want to tell you, I love you, but I'm just going to rattle off a few names. Leisha, Brad, Turner, Van Vake, Stadium, White, Lloyd, Kutsia, Sutherland, Nicias. Yo, 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 that was strong those days, boy. Yeah, just to learn. You can learn. You can only learn. Yeah, listen. But you rub shoulders with the better you become. That's a really good answer. Well done. Here we go. If you didn't have to sleep every night, what would you do with all the extra time? <laughs> sex, have sex. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you know what you else you could do, Muzi? What could I? So you could do an I, you could do an IT course on how to get on Zoom in under forty minutes. Oh my God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, last one. <laughs> if every human came with a warning label, what would yours say? <clears throat> Stay away, I bite. <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> Okay, (laughs) Mr. Yeni, for our viewers, I've made them stay right till the end. Okay. Some people cut off in the podcast, you know what I mean? Like, 
Fuck yeah. it. They have to stay till the end. Give us yeah. three horses for the season. Just three. I know one of them. Uh, okay. Which one? Mr. Nathan Cotson's horse. That's a certainty. Yeah, but he's also got stiff competition, you know. Now, see it again is coming. Cousin Casey was able to beat him over 2-2. Two, two. Okay. I'm sure it'll be easy. It, I'm sure it'll be easy. It's, you'll be suited to a 2,000. All right, yeah. so you must be for the season then. I don't want to force you. You tell us. doesn't matter. It could be, could be a horse that... Listen, it could be a horse that you know. Back to business, climbing up the handicaps. Okay, Soma? Joey Soma? Yeah. Yeah, gets it, gets it, get it, gets it, tricks uh, that grey horse of the cock. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, tricks, yeah, 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 gear tricks. And um, trying to make it uh, interesting. Um, yeah, those are my two, like, um, like I'm saying to you, because he's climbing up the handicap. I like back to business because it's actually you can back him until he gets beat because he's climbing up the handicapping nicely, you know what I mean. Yeah, geriatrics, I think, is a very, very smart colt. And I would be a little bit unfair to tip the maiden, the one of Cabello that won the other day, but it did look impressive. Um, just for... uh, the one of the cocks, yes. Did they oh, yeah, see it again? Uh, yeah, yeah. They did. yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, maybe you might get one good group one out of them. <laughs> yeah. Shots fired. Shots fired. Shots fired. Am I wrong by saying that striker? It's not. It's not a scripted Yeah, I mean, he's one good group one. Yeah, yeah. He's currently. I mean, he's currently the best horse in in South Africa. I mean, he's got the highest merit rating. So, uh, if if he produces his best runs, level weights, they shouldn't beat him. Yeah, and striker. Look what David King did when he got gelded. Yeah. 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 I mean, he was he was amazing last year when he got gelded, wasn't he? Yeah, so there's no shots fired. It's just an open to help yes, the public. I know, no, I know, I know. no, that's right. Um, so I mean, you're, talking, I mean, I mean, you're talking about Heather's boy, eh? Yes, that's the one. Yeah, Heather's boy. Okay, listen, Muzi, thanks for your time. I think it's been a great chat again, Striker. This has been good, eh? Thanks, Muzi. Muzi, who would you like to see us grill? Who would you like to see us grill? Yeah, who should we get on next? Could be anyone. Has Gavin been on? Gavin Arena. Yeah. No, not yet. You're the first one of well, the. I think it's important because he's got a real big pull in Joburg. Eh? Is it? Yeah, he's uh, getting the quality right. So I think he's the man to be talking to. Are you saying Gavin Arena's Joburg's biggest puller? No, pull <laughs> like he gets pull like. Uh, He's got uh, well. He's got a lot of yards supporting him, and yeah, if he's got a lot of yards supporting him, okay, I think we'll it's important him for the we'll viewers to 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 yeah. hear what he's got to say about the season. Muzi, I want to wish you personally all the best. Thank you for doing this. Um, thanks to your sponsors um, for supporting you, um, Stone Stamp Corps, Striker. Uh, could you do me a favor? Will you bring me a pretzel from San Francisco? <laughs> Might be stale, but I'm going to get back. <laughs> See you later. Cheers. Okay, Mr. Joe, Cheers. please get Cheers. out. Thanks to your viewers. Thank you to your viewers. And uh, Keep up thanks for having me on the show. Hey. And uh, your, IT, your team for helping me log on. Thanks for their patience with me. And, and Striker. Really uh, lovely to still have you doing your things. And I'm glad to see you getting quality rides again. That's Thank very gracious. Busy. That's very really gracious, eh? Hey? That's okay. really precious. Thank you very much. And only 3,000 to go before you catch it. Yeah, I know. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers.